Hey guys, I'm Evan, and this is a video about a Raspberry Pi powered stat tracker I made for one of my favorite video games, Left 4 Dead 2. In this video, I'll explain what it is, how it works, and how I made it. If you're interested in making your own Left 4 Dead 2 stat tracker, or maybe one for Counter Strike, Dota 2, or other Valve games, then you can use the information in this video, as well as in my GitHub and Hackaday links below, to make your own. So, without further ado, let's get started. Those of you who have played Left 4 Dead know that the game keeps track of how many infected zombies you've killed and displays it at the end of the level. What you might not have known is that Steam keeps track of the total amount of infected you've killed across every level you've ever played and displays it on your Steam profile page. They also show other stats like your average kills per hour, your favorite weapon, and so on. These are all updated every time you finish a level while online. The stat tracker is powered by a Raspberry Pi that runs a Python script to grab these stats from my Steam profile page and display them on an LCD. The LCD is installed in this 3D printed housing I made to look like a Left 4 Dead 2 trophy. The stat tracker also has two buttons. Pressing the top button will refresh the stats with data from your profile page. Pressing the bottom one cycles the display to the next stat. There are four different stats displayed. Total number of infected killed, your average kills per hour, the number of games you've played, and how many finales you've survived. The display will automatically cycle to the next stat every minute and will automatically refresh the stats every 24 hours. The tracker is meant to be a zero maintenance decorative trophy you can display with your other collectibles, or put it by your PC, in your living room, in your kitchen, maybe in your bathroom. Anywhere that you want to remind people that you'll be ready when the zombie apocalypse happens. Now that I've given a summary of what the stat tracker is, I'll go into more detail about the hardware and software that make it work. We'll start with the hardware first. I'll do a quick overview of the Raspberry Pi that powers the stat tracker and talk about the wiring interface between the Pi and the LCD. Then I'll show you how I prepped and soldered the ribbon cable that connects it all up. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 3 to control the stat tracker because it has a built-in wireless transceiver chip that allows it to immediately connect to my Wi-Fi network on PowerUp. The Pi also has a general purpose input-output header that allows it to control a wide range of external hardware like the LCD I'm using to display my stats. The LCD is a 16x2 red-green-blue character LCD that I ordered from Adafruit.com. It uses 3.3 volt data inputs, so it's compatible with the Raspberry Pi's 3.3 volt general purpose outputs. Before soldering the ribbon cable to the LCD, I made a wiring diagram to define which pins on the GPIO header would connect to which pins on the LCD. I tried to define the connections in such a way that the wires wouldn't crisscross each other when I soldered it all up. Now that I've got the interface defined, I can prep the ribbon cable and solder it to the LCD. hardware all connected up and ready to go, I have everything I need to power the stat tracker. Next, I'll get to the software side of things and talk about how my Python script works. I'll also quickly discuss how I made the 3D printed housing. I'll start with explaining the basic program operation before diving into the details. The Pi is configured to automatically run my stat tracking script on PowerUp. When it is plugged into a wall outlet or some other power source, it loads the operating system, connects to my Wi-Fi network, and starts running my Python script. The Python script starts by initializing the LCD and grabbing stats from my Steam profile page. 
It then displays the stats on the LCD, cycling through the stats once every minute or when the bottom button is pressed, and refreshing the stats once every 24 hours or when the top button is pressed. This process loops indefinitely. Now, I'll go over the code for each section of the script. I'll talk about how the LCD is initialized first. The LCD is controlled by the Adafruit Character LCD Library, which is essentially a Python driver for their LCD. The library takes care of the LCD's somewhat complicated timing requirements and command sequences, so I don't have to worry about them. My code defines which GPIO pins on the Pi are connected to which pins on the LCD and then initializes the LCD. Now displaying text on the LCD is simple as making a function call with the string you want to display. Next, I'll talk about the function I wrote to grab my stats. Your Left 4 Dead 2 stats can be found in the HTML behind your Steam profile page. My stat grabbing function requests this HTML from Steam servers and parses through it to find the stats. I use Python's built-in URL request library to download the HTML and a web scraping library called Beautiful Soup to parse out the stats. Beautiful Soup can sort HTML into its basic components and search for items with certain tags or classes. The infected killed stat is located in a div tag with a blue box third class, so I use Beautiful Soup to find all items with these attributes and then pull the infected killed number from the result. The process for getting other stats is similar. One downside of this approach is, if Valve ever changes the HTML for the Left 4 Dead 2 profile page, my script won't work anymore. I would have used the Steam Web API to get my stats, but for some reason, the number of infected killed reported by the API is lower than what's shown on my profile page, so I decided not to use it. Finally, after grabbing the stats, the script enters an infinite loop. The loop displays the stats, cycles to the next stat every minute, refreshes the stats every 24 hours, and watches for button presses. I won't go into much detail about this part, but basically it's implemented using nested while loops. You can check out the whole script at my GitHub repository. To make the 3D printed stat tracker housing, I first created a 3D model of it using Blender. I tried to make it a size that would be large enough to fit the LCD while still being small enough to fit on my shelf with my other collectibles. I used the dimensions in the LCD datasheet to size the cutout on front. I also made holes in the side for the buttons to stick through. I don't have a 3D printer, so I uploaded my model to shapeways.com and had them print it for me. This wound up costing $44, even with using an expensive PLA plastic. If I wanted to mass produce these, I'd have to find a cheaper way to make the housing. With the hardware, software, and 3D housing all combined, I now have a completed Left 4 Dead 2 stat tracker trophy I can use to show off my zombie killing skills. My next step for this project is to 3D print a trophy with a statue of a tank on top instead of just letters. I'd also like to use a higher resolution color LCD in the base so I can display cool animations with each stat, or add other basic functionality like displaying the time of day. Some examples of other stat trackers you could make are, say, a win counter for your favorite Dota 2 character, or a real-life stat track device for your favorite gun in Counter-Strike. Steam keeps track of tons of stats from tons of different games, so there are a lot of possibilities out there. If you'd like more information about this project, please check out my Hackaday page which I've linked in the description below. Also, feel free to comment here if you have any cool ideas about how to improve my stat tracker, or if you have cool ideas for one of your own. Thanks for watching!